Uh, so anyway, today we are going to make a Monte Cristo, and I don't know if you guys know anything about a Monte Cristo. I've never made it. I've never tried. Never tried it. I should get some water. So anyway, today we are going to make a Monte Cristo, and I don't know if you guys know anything about a Monte Cristo. I've never made it. I've made it's basically mayonnaise, mustard, uh, ham, bacon, if you want, you know, just different kind of meats that are on the sandwich uh, with some Gruyere cheese. And uh, this one I made it my own, so I, I put some Havarti cheese in there. I thought it'd be nice and creamy that way. Um, and we're basically with French toast. So you do French toast sandwich. So this. Basically, it could be a breakfast, lunch, or dinner sandwich, and it could be at any time, really. I never made anything like this. I did go and get a French roll, um, and I cut it up, and I want to show you that here in a second. Uh, so I have two kinds of uh, meats. I have the ham, maple honey ham, maple honey turkey. I thought it would be a really good idea uh, for that. Um, and actually, I could do, I don't know, that wouldn't work. Anyway, um, and then I got my French bread, I got my bacon, I got my two kind of cheeses, I got my egg wash, can't see the, yeah, there's the egg wash, and my mayonnaise and mustard. So I think how you're going to start this off is you're going to pick up two of your breads. Now, you can make it any size you want, really, so you, you have, like, the choice here, um, what kind of bread you kind of really want to use. I'm going to use, like, a pretty thick bottom base, and then a top base. Sounds good. And just kind of get that going. So I'm going to put that right where you guys can see it in the middle here. And you're going to start off with the mayonnaise and mustard. So I'm going to put mayonnaise on one side. And that just went everywhere. So we'll just throw that over here. Dude, that went everywhere. I mean, I just squirted it on the wall. That was horrible. I wonder if it's any good. Anyway. Uh, you know, I'm really kind of mustard oh that price on it horrible really kind of questioning the mustard on this because it's a breakfast sandwich and I thought maybe with the maple and the honey ham and all that stuff like you want maple right like a I mean if it's a French toast sandwich why would you want to put mustard on it but I guess you could I'm only gonna put a little bit I just really don't I'm not really digging the mustard honestly um, on this sandwich so you're going to start off with a little bit of glue. This is what it's called. It's called glue. And you put your cheese on here. And you just kind of get a nice little layer of cheese, which isn't really that much of a layer more than a big clump because everything's melting around here. So then you're going to go and take your ham. I'm going to put two pieces of ham on here and two pieces of turkey. Actually, I'm going to do ham and a little bit of glue, so a little bit more cheese on there. It's probably not a good idea, but we're going to give it a try. And then we're going to do a little bit of turkey, and we're going to cross it. We're going to do one way, one. Ham's going one way, turkey's going the other. And then we're going to put a little bit of bacon. Why not? got to love the bacon. On this sandwich. So do something like that. Then you're going to put some more glue. Throw a lot more cheese on here. And kind of like that. And then you take your top of your sandwich, and that's what you come up with. So, this is going to be your basis. Now, I'm going to move the camera again um, so you guys can get the whole picture. Now, this is a big sandwich. If you look at it, it's pretty it's freaking huge. Look at that thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this thing down a little bit, and then you take your egg wash, right? And so, what we're going to do. We're gonna go over to. We're gonna go over to the range here, and that's where I'm gonna put my egg wash, uh, right here. 
and you can see what I do. Uh, so I do have a little bit of butter going on this thing, which is probably super loud for you guys. I'm sorry about the sound. One day I'll have it fixed. Keep those donations coming in. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to have a lot of cheese. Now, I've seen a couple of different ways you could do this, but I'm just going to dunk it, man. Just really just get it in there and get it everywhere into this sandwich. Just like so. And that's that. And I have enough to make another one later, but uh, like I said, it's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you want to donate, donate whatever you like. A dollar would be great. Your name would pop up and then say you get a star uh, if you did it. If I did it, set it up correctly. Oh, yeah. So you can see the top of this is really it's nice and done. The one thing with this is you're going to have all that egg on the inside. And, and that's the hard part of when you got to cook a Monte Cristo, I guess, is you got to get all that, right? Um, that sandwich is ridiculously huge. I mean, it really is. You can see how brown it kind of really is. Um, and this is actually getting it. I mean, it's a big French toast. And I, I love big, big French toast, a little bit of cinnamon. And I thought, like, you're supposed to put, like, maple syrup on this thing. The mustard thing is just really kind of freaking me out. Like, I mean, I guess it can't be too bad, but, like, most people will use, like, Dijon because the Monte Cristo is, like, some kind of, like, you know, high-end sandwich, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the meat, I'll tell you what, the, the maple ham meat, that was pretty expensive. Like, that was, like, $10 a pound or something like that. That's ridiculous. So I got a half pound of each. Um, but, you know, this is looking good. So the trick now is, and this is the hard part, is I'm going to use the two spatulas here to keep it together. And you got to, something like that. And so you can get every side. Um, it looks like both sides are definitely done. Um, but like, I think this is the only way you could really do a sandwich like this if you really want to get it pretty much all cooked. This is going to get bad. I don't know I didn't. And I see like the top here is nice and crusty. I mean a little bit of raw egg is not going to kill you by any means. But who wants that really? All right, so now let's see if I could. Ah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> it worked. I really didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> this is pretty awesome, actually. This thing looks really good. I can imagine, you know, with the maple and the French toast. I mean, how can it be wrong? All right. Let me do that. How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. How did I get it up on one end? I don't know. I've turned the sandwich way too many times. Ooh, I got it. <laughs> so I think that's the last side that I haven't done. It's kind of hard, man. You ever try doing anything like this? Um, and there you go. We got the Monte Cristo, man. This thing looks really freaking good. We'll see how that comes out. So this here, more dishes. Look at all these freaking dishes. This is one, two, three. A freaking plate over here to hold. Uh, um, anyway, there we go. Uh, I can't really turn the light back on. A little better picture of it. Um, this thing looks amazing. I can't wait to give it a try. It almost looks like it could have cooked a little bit longer because I didn't get that gooey, cheesy thing. So, um, how can I do that? Hmm, I don't know if I can. It's supposed to be a little more hotter, but I don't know how I can get it. I'm going to try this real quick over here. I'm going to do this. And then um, what you could do is to cheat. Let's just get another dish here. Make a mess and make a lot of noise. And you throw a bowl over it, right? So now I have a bowl over. And then this is the this is the trick part. I, I don't know if this is going to work. This is probably not a good idea, but I'm going to go for it. I don't know. 
if this is a good idea or not. But I put a little bit of water. And I get all that steam, right? And the steam gets trapped underneath the, the bowl. And it will steam that sandwich really hot real quick. Or it's going to make a complete mess and start splattering grease everywhere, which it's kind of doing too. So that's kind of cool. Um, the bowl protects it from actually getting the water on it. Um, it just gets a very minimal of the water, but there is steam building up inside the bowl. You fill the bowl, it's super hot right now. It's just kind of keeping the heat more focused on the sandwich. Um, we'll see. I have never done this before. Uh, I mean, I, this is how I do heat my, because I don't have a microwave. So when I heat stuff up, I do kind of dabble with the water idea of heating meats up and stuff like that. Um, and it's, uh, you know, sandwiches, everything. Trick is getting that thing off. Now that's going to be a little tricky. I don't even know if it's going to be possible because it was hot. I do have a rag over here. I could use a dish towel. So we definitely had to adjust because you really want that cheese to be gooey, right? You don't want it, like, it, I think it would be nasty. If it, I mean, it's not going to be nasty by any means, but it should be just drooling. And that's what I want. So I'm going to get it somehow. Somehow. I don't know. All right, I'm going to go for it. So that's not going to work. Oh, shit. All right, that's not going to work. Towel is not going to work. I'm going to use this. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sandwich perfect. Looks great. And you know what? And this is what I want to show you. This is what I was trying to get. I got the goo. It's all gooey down here. See how the cheese is kind of melting? It's all, it's, it's melting. It's looking great. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just coming out at the bottom down there. That's what you want. And, and it didn't really, it's not, I think what happens is all the egg and all that protects it from getting gooey and soggy. So, I think that fucking worked. In my language. There we go. And I wish he had some light. If I had a flashlight, I could put that on there. Actually, I do have a flashlight. I don't know if that will work or not, but we'll give it a try. Here we go. Get it right there. And that's it. And we'll get it right there. I mean, it looks freaking yummy. And we're going to grab some paper towel. There we go. Mmm. <laughs> Mustard's not bad. Wow. With the bacon? Holy crap. Did I make here? With the two kinds of cheeses? And the maple ham? And the maple turkey? With the French toast? That mustard, it's in there. It's not bad by any means. It does give it that extra little kick. Maybe a Dijon mustard, or I'm not a big fan, but I think a Dijon mustard might be a little bit spicy, so that might actually taste pretty good in that sandwich. I just can't do like mustard in that sandwich for some reason. I, I don't know. I, I think I would, going back and forth, I mean, make some kind of hot sauce of some sort in there. Um, Maybe just a very tad like Valentino's or I don't know, but it, it's super good. I mean, with the French toast, you could probably pour syrup on that thing and be still eating it and still think it's great. But for a breakfast sandwich, lunch, or dinner, Monte Cristo. I do like Monte for some reason. Monte I had a Monte Carlo when I first that was my first car. Um, I want to go to Monte Carlo one day. Um, now I had a Monte Cristo sandwich, so we're kicking things off the bucket list, you know, on the grand tour here. That's the season finale of the Outcast. Uh, but this is this is delicious. <laughs> Do you have grape upon? Maybe grape upon would actually be pretty good on this sandwich. I mean, it is a tasty sandwich. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna say half of this thing on a couple bites. With the French toast. 
the maple that's the maple I recommend that maple maple ham maple turkey maple bacon um, and then add that to the sandwich then you could add your grape upon and mayonnaise you don't really even need that stuff on there but it tastes really good anyway that's my show I have a bunch of food left over so if you guys are nearby come on by come eat uh, I'll make you a sandwich looking forward to seeing you guys and talk to you guys soon see you next week Thank you for hanging out with me on this 30 minute ride at 11 o'clock. This is episode number 17. I can't even believe we made it this far. Honestly, it's crazy. Um, but if you guys want anything made, hit me up. I'm willing to try anything. Throw it at me. Challenge me. That would be cool. Um, and then it helps me because I don't have to think about what I need to try to make and I just got to learn how to make what you guys want. That would be pretty sweet. Anyway, all right, that's it. I take enough of your time. Enjoy your days. think this is nuts right I, I don't know I don't know if this is a good idea or not but you know what I don't think it could go wrong I really I think it could go wrong I mean I, it's not gonna go wrong but it's gonna go wrong